An Oroville Elementary School had eight trees in their playground destroyed over the weekend. All this starts to make you wonder, right? Trees that were a gift from PG&E just two years ago. But today, some good news. The utility says they're going to step in, they're going to replace those trees. KRCR News Channel 7's Tyler May spoke with students and staff to see what these trees mean to them. He's live in Chico right now. Tyler. Well, Jennifer, everyone at the Helen Wilcox Elementary School in Oroville is devastated that these eight trees were destroyed over the weekend. But they are excited that PG&E is helping them out. When you look at one of the playgrounds at Helen Wilcox Elementary School in Oroville, you'll notice brown holes in the ground where eight trees used to be. Eight trees, school officials say, were vandalized over the weekend. It was like really heartbreaking to me when I heard that they were destroyed. Why could this happen? The trees were donated by PG&E two years ago to celebrate Arbor Day. And we're very saddened to hear that they suffered vandalism to eight trees over the weekend. These are pictures of the trees taken by the school's principal. You can see where the young trees were snapped at the roots. The school has a security camera overlooking the area, but school officials say the footage is too dark to see anything. The incident because sparked Kaylin Kors to do something. Um, pretty... She went to the Walmart and Home Depot in Oroville Monday after school asking for some help. Can you please, please give us two more trees? And they did. Both Home Depot and Walmart donated two trees each. A local nursery donated two trees as well. PG&E says they'll take care of the rest. We pledge to replace whatever trees need to be replaced. And students can't wait until that happens. I'm going to watch them every day. We like to have our school clean and those trees provide air for us. And they help us a lot and we just really want them back. Now, school officials say these trees will be planted later this week and just in time for Arbor Day, which is this Friday. Reporting live in Chico tonight, Tyler May, KRCR News Channel 7. Who was going to turn her down? Thanks, Tyler.